Hi team, it is Melissa from Melissa vs Fibromyalgia here and we are doing a very brief week 33 update. Wyatt and I are just hanging out, we've just got home. We managed to do some shopping very slowly and very gently mm. with Noah, uh, which was really cool. Noah was actually really helpful, which made all the difference in the world. So. We managed to do that. It was actually a bit funny because my pelvis was okay, but by the end I had such a strong Braxton Hicks that um, walking was a little bit difficult. Um, but such is the way at the end of pregnancy with your third baby, lots of Braxton Hicks. Uh, the pelvis is actually doing quite well considering I had a bit of a flare up at week 32, which I think is a bit of an injection of relaxin into the system, but my body must have assimilated it and carried on and I'm being careful. Uh, so I think that's um, doing well. It's a bit difficult at night time in bed, kind of getting in and out of bed and turning over is a bit of an ordeal. Um, and sleep is getting a bit more difficult now, but I am still thankful that it's going well. Uh, the fibromyalgia is still fairly well under control. I'm really happy with that. I saw the physio yesterday and she did some neck tractions and some acupuncture, which always makes a good difference for me. And I am getting very tired, so I am just being a bit more gentle now. I have slowed down with my um, designing of my new templates and ideas for the Etsy store because I just I can't keep sitting at the computer and doing all the work it involves. So. I've slowed down with that. Uh, we have quite a big bump growing, but I'm very happy. The midwife said that um, he is head down and that his little butt is in the middle. So he's in a very good position, I hope, for when he decides to come out. Uh, so that's really nice. And he's measuring uh, about the same as my oldest boy. So just above uh, the 70th percentile. So we're looking at about 3.1 kilograms I think when he meets us if he stays on the growth chart that he's on uh, it's all very approximate though because I haven't had a scan since 20 weeks so a lot can change uh, so that's that's what's been going on and he's taking up a lot of space now uh, so sitting down is a bit awkward he's got a limb right up in this rib which is fun <laughs> uh, but it's actually just going really nicely. Uh, I find it a bit difficult when I'm alone with both of the boys because I can't do too much to engage them. I certainly can't sit on the floor with them. Um, but when Noah is out and kept occupied it can deal with his grandpa. And then Wyatt is really great at keeping himself occupied and I've got all my little activities set up for him so like when we're outside I have my box of crayons, uh, sorry chalk that he can draw with and he's got his little um, slide climbing frame and his digger and his trampoline so it's um, I think if you set things up well your toddler can be well well organized and well happy um, kept entertained so that's really exciting my poor dog though is not having much fun because I absolutely cannot take him for a walk so it's a bit boring for him but he'll be all right he's very old now so I'm sure he doesn't mind not having very long walks but anyway that's really everything for week 33 uh, not too much is happening which is nice and hopefully we're sliding quietly to the last few weeks we are starting to count down now I am getting heavy and tired and kind of over it but um, and impatient to meet my boy so We'll look forward to that and do come along and join the Pregnancy and Fibromyalgia Facebook group if you want to come and chat with other mamas who are doing this journey. And I will leave the link below to my book in case you're interested in learning about pregnancy and fibromyalgia in a concise way. And don't forget my website. I have a ton of resources and articles up there that I have written. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.